as I said last week, there is still magic in this saga if you know where to look for it, where it's, and how to be willing to find it. So, with that out of the way, hey, welcome to my vlog on the Book of Boba Fett Season 1 finale in the name of honor, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, come back to him, full circle, and, and definitely, like I said, and when I started looking at this show, uh, it was, in a sense, like a Star Wars version of the Omiri Yachi, Yachi series. Like, it's almost a, something like a Once Upon a Time Lost Espa, so to speak. So, yeah. Anyway, as you can tell by my, my opening statements, and it's basically what they've been building up to the entire season. Like an all-out much war for control of the whole of Lost Espa and the greater... Her, her plan of Tatooine, all that implies, eyes, and close to everyone uh, they've set up had plays a part in some way, including the mods gang, which I'm still defending, and 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 basically the way they use like how in this, in this in these last couple episodes, like how a way that only build what that's been done before, but also validates what's been done before with them, like how. I mean, and with that in mind, I mean, it's definitely really crazy, and I think Christmas release date would be feasible for this season of The Mandalorian, especially given how both Mando himself and Grogu, who are do play a bit of a part in this, this finale. I'm not going to say how, which should give you an idea of just how wild it is, but it's like these whole... It involves... Holmes... Oh, um, say, a the Cortosis blade, and also a couple of Scorpionot tanks. I mean, of course, there's a or as Hasbro, who owns both the Star Wars and Transformers licenses, would have those kind of tanks in there. I mean, Aaron. I'm also serious. Some other merch just hit the hit the streets. I might consider looking into it in the near future. Like I said before, or I've made my choices and I have no regrets. That's in doing so. Yeah, that's the first season in the bag. I mean, they've already planned the seeds for the second season. Season and. Even though Moon Knight's going to be like a like a single season event series, that's already that's actually fine with me. He, hey, hey, they're potentially teasing two season orders for both, both the casting and or series and and the upcoming Obi Wan series as well. Well, I definitely think I'm gonna be going as the latter for Halloween this year. I mean, hear me. I definitely know that I can more than capable of having like the growing up my hair and my beard for it, I mean, like, I mean, not quite up to Alec Guinness yet, I mean, you know, that's a name of hood a long time, but at least I can probably, hey, manage a decent, and you and McGregor, you're right about one thing, Master, negotiation was short, and, okay, so getting there, and also my James Arnold Taylor, I think is pretty spot on, Nonsense. In general, I haven't very much more to discuss. Anyway, that's about it for now. I'll see you all tomorrow with my thoughts on today's Nintendo Rat after it at, at streams, and also Friday with my next my panel to at look at Peacemaker. So that'll be all for now, and this is the way. Mm.